and not to environmental matters. Professor Breno Bringle, a prominent Brazilian activist and member of the Eco-Social and Intercultural Pact of the South, has emphasized the importance of shifting the ecological and political discourse on energy transition to the local level, as nations in the global south strive to tackle the inequities of eco-social transition, Professor Bringo advocates engaging grassroots communities in this crucial dialogue. He spoke alongside other editors during a public presentation of a book, The Geopolitics of Green Colonialism, Global Justice and Eco-Social Transition, put together by the health of Motherwell Foundation, HOMEF. Details now. The Green New Deal policies in Europe and North America, touted as solutions to climate change, have instead given rise to new environmental injustices and a form of green colonialism undermining their sustainability claims. The dominance of the global energy economy has undermined the ability of developing nations to pursue self-determined strategies that would improve the quality of life for their citizens. And they had sent in our, it's just like the science fiction that they put something in our mind that today, the way we are behaving makes that we get dependent to these countries. And to fight against this, I think this new generation is willing to have a, 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 a change. And you can see it, it is more, it is broader than Senegal, even, even if the, the ways are different. Go to Guinea you go to Mali, you go to Niger, these three countries have said we are fed up with this former colonial. And then next to... The public presentation and dialogue around the book, The Geopolitics of Green Colonialism, is lending a voice that has been conspicuously absent from the broader debate. As uh, so far in countries, if you look to African countries and to Latin America, we uh, are suffering the impacts of this new energy transition, this new geopolitical imaginarium that says that they need lithium to, to have their uh, energy transition in the global north. And in this meanwhile, we are seeing the growing of inequalities, the growing of poverty in the global south. So on the one hand, we have to share the impacts of this. On the other hand, we also have to foster the alternatives. Miriam Lang, a professor of environment and sustainability and co-editor of the book, Alongside the director of the ecological think tank for the health of Mother Earth Foundation, HOMEF, are condemning the situation. Both Lang and the HOMEF director, who both support the adoption of clean energies, argue that this situation would amount to a new form of colonialism. I hope it, is, it, will, it can become a tool for people in Africa and in Nigeria to begin to deliberate and to discuss the alternatives uh, at the order of the day and their own capacities which are often underestimated uh, to overturn this critical situation we are facing. When we're talking about um, green energy, we're talking also about the same extractivist model where certain minerals are called critical minerals, transition minerals, like cobalt, lithium and the rest. And then if they are being mined in a way that is not in consonance with the best interests of nature and communities, then of course it means that the people are still going to suffer the way they're suffering in the oil fields. Then secondly, if we're having a system of maybe production of solar, setting of solar power installations that occupy a vast quantity of land, communities may still be dispossessed. And then from what we've seen so far in some places, including countries in Africa, such installations do not necessarily provide energy for the local communities. The writers use case studies from the global south to analyze green colonialism in its material, political and symbolic forms. They explore interconnected changes in the globalized economy and propose alternative paths towards a sustainable and equitable future. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.